Hello, I'm Dr. Jo Montgomery, and I'm a scientist and a teacher. I'm a primary science specialist, and I also am a PSQM hub leader, an Explorify champion, Great Science Share for Schools champion, and a STEM learning facilitator. I'm going to tell you a little bit about moving my STEM club online uh, during a pandemic. So in normal times, I run a uh, all sorts of uh, workshops in the schools, as well as supporting teacher professional development as well. And I run a number of STEM clubs, both in schools and also for community groups and for home educated children as well. And in normal times, then uh, my, my STEM club or science club operates um, either in a village hall or in a school setting. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to concentrate on my school STEM clubs uh, thinking about one school in particular that I that I work very closely with. And uh, it's normally an after school club and we have children from years four, five and six usually come. Um, although I have also run them for key stage two or lower down in the school as well. And sometimes actually the clubs are so popular that I have to run more than more than one um, to fit in all of the year groups as well. And we'll undertake a range of activities, dipping in and out of the different sciences, different topics, uh, led a little bit by the children's interests, but also um, structured in a way that it extends the curriculum rather than um, replicates it. Um, and so they get to explore all sorts of, of different areas. So very hands on, um, but lots of fundamental science um, underpinning it too. Now, at the start of lockdown uh, last year, um, Obviously, schools closed to the majority of children um, and really uh, no STEM clubs didn't really have an option other than to move it online. Now, initially, um, in that first lockdown, there was a huge variation in the amount of remote learning that was being provided for primary children in particular. And one particular school I work with um, had very limited online provision um, no live lessons, literally just being set a number of activities in a day, um, not taking up very much time at all. And many of the parents were concerned that, that the children didn't have enough directed uh, teaching and input and were very keen to, uh, to get the STEM club uh, running online. Now, obviously, ideally, face to face is much better. And there were a few people who uh, didn't continue with STEM Club in the online um, platform. But on the whole, it was very popular. And once we got going, people really appreciated some of the benefits, which I'll talk about later, of the online provision in their own home as well. So, in fact, to kind of to get this going, um, I had to start delivering bits of science kit to people. So uh, I got on my bike and put together some bits and pieces of science equipment that, that we wouldn't necessarily have at home. So we had to change the investigations that we would normally do, thinking about what was possible in a home environment with the resources available as well. Um, and tweaking them to involve things that involved the household items as well. So lots of kitchen science, but also lots of, of exploration of things like sound um, that could be done with things around the house too. Um, and venturing into the garden, so lots of nature exploration as well. And as I said, I got on my bike and I delivered bits of equipment to my local children as well, so that they could join in with some specialist kit, including some electricity kit uh, as well, and microscopes so that those, those could be used. So some real science kit uh, in their own homes too. And I also then um, accompanied my science club, my online science club, with um, a downloadable activity pack as well to both support the activities that they were doing um, online with me, but also to extend their learning and experience as well so that they had follow up investigations to do in their own time. Now, I did offer my club in a number of formats, both live um, on a platform um, like Zoom and also as a pre-recorded video as well. So they would play the short video, you could pause it and undertake the activities. So with, you know, an instructional demonstration on, on the video and then they went away and, and performed uh, the activities um, independently. This also gave me the opportunity to extend the club actually beyond my local area. So I had people contacting me asking to get involved um, around the world, actually. And so depending on time zones, the pre-recorded option was much more um, useful in that, in that sense. But depending on where they were, actually, I could set up STEM clubs for different places uh, around the world uh, as well. 
As well as this, I also started posting on social media lots of daily science activities. So in addition to the weekly science club that we were doing online, there were also daily opportunities to look around you and wonder about the world as well. So it extended the reach wider than those just involved in the science club. So some of the activities that we did during uh, during lockdown science club, as I mentioned before, we did some electricity investigations, both involving um, the, the bulldog clip, normal wire investigations, but also experimenting with things like copper tape um, and button cells um, creating light up birthday cards. We did lots of kitchen chemistry involving things like making mixtures and solutions and separating them by filtration and evaporation. We investigated sound, thinking about the effect of vibrations and resonance um, with uh, water harmonica um, and glass bottles, investigating the difference between blowing over the top and tapping on the side, all sorts of hands-on investigations of sound. As I said, I delivered some specialist kit as well. I ran a summer STEAM club, so linking art and science too, and we looked looked at lots of nature, took a lot of it outside, hunting for bugs, looking at the different types of leaves on trees, dissecting flowers. We also investigated rocks as well and soils, um, took a closer look around us and made models of chocolate rocks as well. And I mentioned my daily science activities as well. So I posted these on social media and you can have a look at all of these. There's more than 150 science activities if you go to drjoesciencesolutions.co.uk forward slash lockdown dash learning, you'll find them all there. So there were some disadvantages um, of moving online as well as some advantages. So let's think about those things that, that weren't so great, first of all. So there was definitely a problem with the lack of equipment. I had to rethink the things that we would do, both in terms of supervision, um, but also in terms of the equipment available that was, was useful as well. So we had to change our ideas a bit. There are definite advantages of not being face to face. You can't address those misconceptions quite so easily. Um, you're not there to be hands on to shape and guide the learning in the same way. And also those interactions with each other, with the children with each other were limited as well. They can see each other on screen and they can talk and chat to each other. Um, but uh, obviously in, in an online situation, it's not the same as working in a group towards a common goal. There's additional health and safety things to think about as well, both in terms of safeguarding, because I've got a group of children online, um, but also in terms of supervision of the activities. So actually, I always asked that there was a parent in the room uh, with every child on the science club so that they could supervise and make sure that everything um, would be safe, but also to make sure that there was an adult present in the room um, for safeguarding purposes too. Advantages for me. Uh, the, or, or this should be in the, on the other side, actually, is that um, there was definitely less washing up. So whilst there was more preparation of equipment required, and especially for me to package it up individually and send them either by post or um, or delivering them in person, there was more there was less washing up at the end of it for me because they were doing that in their in their own homes. There were definite advantages of moving my science club online, though. The children were effectively working one to one in terms of their um, hands on of the equipment. There was no group sharing. They had individual uh, sets of resources and lots of space around them. They were often working in their kitchens and um, space to spread out, not squashed into a classroom. And they had their own kit. They weren't sharing. It enabled me to have a greater reach. It wasn't just that that small number of children I can have in a STEM club after school, uh, especially with the pre-recorded activities. Um, I could reach more people around the world. And then with their daily science activities as well, it was effectively like a mini science club, a self-directed science club. There were advantages to parental involvement as well. So it really got the parents and children working together, improved uh, science capital, scientific literacy, encourage those conversations around science to happen at home as well. So that was a definite advantage. Also an advantage of the follow-up possibilities as well, because I provided this activity pack to support the learning and extend it, they had those resources available to continue the investigations. Whereas at the end of Science Club, they'd have gone home uh, in person, they'd have gone home without the equipment. Uh, and these have switched to the wrong side. So, yeah, the, the, the advantage is the less washing up and the disadvantage was the greater amount of preparation needed in terms of creating individual science kits and delivering them to the place. 
Here's some feedback from my online science clubs. I'll just let you read those. So parents really appreciated that opportunity for their children to get together uh, online with their friends, um, particularly in that first lockdown when, when nobody was, was going out or seeing anyone. And also to have those um, that, that guided instructional um, activity as well. Looking to the future, I think I'm probably going to maintain a hybrid approach to my STEM clubs, actually. I can't wait to get back uh, in front of the children face to face to have that STEM club in a normal environment in normal times again, where we can do shared learning and co collaborate with each other um, and work together towards a common goal. But there are some advantages to the online system, particularly the pre-recorded videos as well, it means that they can be used in different time zones or um, if children can't access the club, then they can have the recorded version to catch up later on. So I think going forward, there will be definitely a combination of running online STEM clubs and back face to face as well. So my advice would definitely be to keep your STEM clubs going. Uh, and even if that means online, then that works really well too.